Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So my buddy Pete Allen uh, gave me some stuff before he went into the retirement community. And one of those, well, he gave me a bunch of this. It's fish line. Fish line. It's fish line. Well, why did he give me fish line? Well, he used to string tennis rackets using that. What am I going to do with it? Stay tuned. What am I going to do with the fish line? Okay, let's see what it actually is. It's high quality monofilament fish line. Looks like he got it for $26.50. Um, it's 300 pounds tested, 100 yards, 1.56 millimeters. That's super thick. So my buddy Pete, uh, who's an engineer and a tinkerer of tennis rackets, um, he used to string his rackets with this stuff. And I'd be like, whoa, mad scientist stuff. Uh, but since I inherited all of his fish line and a lot of his rackets, um, I'm actually going to put it on Coach Goose. Andrew's going to be trying fish line, but I'm not going to tell him it's fish line. I'm going to say, hey, this is the latest and greatest in strings. Let's see how he likes it. All right. So I'm going to string it with the fish line and see what Andrew really thinks. All right, stay tuned. All right, so stringing up the racket. Man, this stuff is tough. This string is so thick that it barely fits through the grommets. I have to bore in the holes a little bit. Ooh, ink. I'm getting an exfoliation on my fingers here. Ooh, who's going to love this? We'll see you on the court. court with this um, catfish hook string that uh, I got from my buddy Pete Allen. Uh, Coach Goo, what did you think of that? Um, honestly, it's an interesting string. It's very clear. Um, reminds me of a fishing line um, for sure. Um, being by the name of it, I think it's the fishing line. <laughs> um, but overall, I mean, it, when, it, when it hits the sweet spot, it pockets pretty well, which is surprising for a thick string like this. Um, however, it does pop. It does really fly off. It has a lot of power. So it doesn't really, in my opinion, it doesn't really pocket as much, but it just, like when it hits the sweet spot, it kind of pockets in a way. But it definitely de delivers that power. Um, but, I mean, it's a fun string to play with. Um, I wouldn't play with it. Uh, I like to pocket my balls a little more, but... Fun string if you're looking for that extra power. All right. Hey, Coach Chris, what did you think? <laughs> so I, I also enjoy playing with this too as well. I think it has a little bit too much power. And from if, I'm, if I heard right, like this string too is also a, a string to use for fishing too as well. Maybe not. <laughs> you just thought it was. <laughs> So uh, quite amusing, but again, yes, again, this, this, this string, I think would be good to put on if you were to use like for a coaching racket too as well. It's kind of uh, easy to just feed with this, but for now, I think to play on this, at least even with the 95, I think it's just a little bit too, too much power. And I like to have a little bit more feel with the strings and also um, maybe just a little bit more control, but again, just a fun, string to test to as well so interesting too all right so just so you guys know they didn't know what was in here right i just made up that name right because i wanted to see if they could tell the difference if we could all tell the difference right so this is a monofilament 1.54 it's thick 
It is very, very thick, a la yeah. Rafa Nadal, right? You can't get this in a tennis racket string. Therefore, it is fishing line. Jinkai from no, Japan. No. No 1.54. It is a fishing line. <laughs> it is fishing wow. line. See? Hey, yeah. So, that's a thick. At 57 pounds is what we strung it at. Yeah, it's 100 yards. Huh. Yeah. 300 pounds. So, size. this is actual <laughs> fishing line that I was telling you I was going to put in. I did, I did not tell them it was it until he actually just spurted it out. So I spurted <laughs> it out. He's like, it's like fishing line. I was like, how the heck did he know that? I mean, so, it's cl- I mean, I definitely done some fishing so oh oh really okay yeah. i did not know that right. some some not, it, not not like your see, coach chris liked the string yeah coach chris liked the string there you go right so I hey mean, yeah <laughs> fishing line you could actually kind of use it it's a little on the thick side i'm gonna try to get some thin ones for everybody um and and see how it feels Okay. Right, because there is yeah. elasticity in this thing. Yeah, there is. It I mean, is. I, I, it somewhat pockets if you hit the right spot. Yeah, yeah. It, it's not bad. How much is the? Or I mean, I didn't pay for this. My buddy gave me like oh, okay. reels and reels of this stuff. Yeah, if you don't, if you run out of string, you can use fishing line. Yeah, yeah. 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 and it lasts you know. a long time. It probably ain't gonna break. To tell you the truth. Yeah. So, <laughs> hey, if so. you're just starting out, this is a good string. Right? <laughs> yeah, saving money too. Save it's yeah. like twenty five bucks for all this. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, that. yeah, yeah it's definitely. You know, if you're a beginner or you just starting out or looking for that extra pop. Right, know. it's Japan, sure. man. Quality fish yeah. line too. It might not be, you know, stringly, uh, free, be as friendly to string with, but you know, it, it, <laughs> it was hard tough. to string. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing. Yeah. So. If you give this to your stringer, they probably might question you. They will yes. kill you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <they will. laughs> all right guys thanks for having fun with me today and thanks for letting me mess around with the the strings in your racket yeah uh, of course what did uh well you hated it so it don't matter <laughs> all right want to thank coach goo for having fun with me today with this fish line he obviously knew what it was so i didn't tell him coach goo where can we find you you can find me at agu.tennis i'll also be posting that content there as well all right want to also thank coach chris for uh kind of figuring it out but still loving it <laughs> All right, so I'll finish this review back at the shop. So back at the shop with my fish line. So my buddy Pete Allen, as I said, gave me this stuff. He used to string his profiles with this stuff at like 30 pounds. So he would get a nice sling out of this fish line and it would literally never break. I mean, it's 1.56 millimeters, right? 1.56 millimeters. This was a pain in the behind to string. It was just hard. It was very hard to do the crosses. Uh, But, you know, Coach Andrew, I think, didn't know until I called the string uh, catfish hook. And he realized that, oh, this could be fish line. So I guess Coach Goo is a little smarter than I thought he was. So he figured out that it feels like fish line. And it was fish line, right? Coach Chris, on the other hand, when he was hitting it, he was like, I like this string. I like this string. And I was like, okay, good. Keep liking this string, all right? But um, if you are a string breaker and you can't find anything on the market that won't break, try this stuff. Like, try fish line, right? It's pretty difficult to break this stuff. Um, I've seen one person do it, but he's a monster, okay? Uh, it doesn't hold tension very well, just to let you know. We, we strung it at 57 pounds, which is what Coach Andrew uses, and it didn't hold that tension very well at all. Uh, by the time we got it on the court uh, within 24 hours, it was probably 45, if that. Um, but, hey, this is made to, you know, hook your trout, not, not hook your opponent, right? You know? Who knows, right? You can hook your opponent too with it. But anyways, uh, fish line, you can try it on your racket. It's actually much more inexpensive. It it definitely will not hold tension though. Maybe in a thinner gauge, it will be better. But, you know, you can definitely use fish line for your racket. It's It's a good alternative if you are that type of a string breaker, like that team that contacted me, you know, who basically going through strings like there's no tomorrow, uh, having to string 20 rackets a day. So for you guys, 
try something like this. I mean, it'll it'll keep the strings um, in your racket and it'll keep it from breaking. So, you know, give it a shot, right? I'm gonna try Weed Whacker next and, and see how that goes, okay? So fish line for your racket, give it a shot. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.